Welcome to The Geeks Addict. This is a book review of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, The Novelization. The Rogue One, A Star Wars Story novelization was written by New York Times bestselling author Alexander Freed. This is his second novel written in the new canon. His first was Battlefront Twilight Company. You can find that book review down in the description box below. Now first I'm going to do a brief summary of the novel. The Empire spreads throughout the galaxy, expanding oppression and tyranny for everyone. Meanwhile, an alliance is built up on hope with means to overthrow Palpatine with a peaceful transition. An Imperial shuttle pilot has defected. He holds a secret message that must be transported to the most rebellious man in the galaxy, Saw Gerrera. As the Rebel Alliance intelligence suggests that the Empire has developed a super weapon with the capability of destroying an entire planet, well that throws out the whole idea of a peaceful transition of government. War must be the only option to some people. The Alliance has intercepted Jyn Erso from the hands of the Empire. Now, they believe she holds the key to extracting more information about that secret message that is um, in the hands of Saw Gerrera. They know that she has a past with Saw Gerrera, so they need to take her to Saw and get the message so that they can figure out what they need to do to destroy the Death Star. We go on a wild goose chase to find the information. We see a lot of new planets. We get to see some old planets. And this tale leads right up to the events of A New Hope. Now let's talk about characters. There were plenty to choose from, but like always, I like to focus on one or two characters. In this case, I'm going to focus on two. The first being Jyn Erso, the daughter of Galen Erso, the man responsible for building the weapon within the Death Star by Order of the Empire. Jyn Erso is strong-willed. She's rebellious. She's been in and out of Imperial prisons. She, she holds on to hatred for those that she feels have abandoned her over her life, even though her family was taken from her by the Empire, but her adoptive father also abandoned her during wartime which I can see why she'd hold on to that hatred, but hey, it was for the better, you know, it helped her grow. Because of those abandonment issues, she has locked herself away in this mental, emotional prison that she holds within her mind, um, but she's thrown in this uh, course of events that can alter the state of the galaxy, so she has to either learn how to break free from that emotional prison or just remain behind those bars. The other character I'd like to talk about is Bodhi Rook, the shuttle pilot who defected from the Empire. Now, it took a lot of courage to do what he did, from Imperial pilot to full-blown rebel. The guy's pretty rattled as well. I mean, he was tortured. We find out a lot more about his past, which makes him human, and that's nice. Bodhi made hard choices, but they were the right choices. He is honorable, and he is a hero of the Rebel Alliance. Now, for my overall thoughts and review of Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, this novelization was phenomenal. I highly recommend you go pick this up. I saw the movie a couple of times in theaters. Book was just as good, if not better. There are some extra scenes. There's more... Um, more in-depth look at the characters, the dialogue was great. Nothing was missing from this novel, except some of the visuals. I mean, what's not cool to look at in a Star Wars film? You know, as expected, there's gonna be dialogue that wasn't in the film. There's gonna be scenes in here that weren't in the film, but it didn't take away anything. It just added to it. I think I said that already, but it, it added to it, and it was amazing. At the end of every few chapters, there's these supplemental data logs, and it's like communications that are taking place either between the Empire or the Rebellion. Very cool stuff. Didn't take me out of the book. Oh, and there's this other character, Admiral Raddus. He is one of my new favorite Star Wars characters. Uh, I got a response from Pablo Hidalgo about the fate of Raddus, so stay tuned for that at the very end of this video. You know, one great thing about a novelization is you get inside the character's head and you learn a lot more about what's going on in their brain and their emotions than you would watching a movie. You know, if this wasn't a novelization, I would rank it probably up at the top three of the new canon Star Wars, but since it is a novelization, I am not going to rank it among the other Star Wars books, but I will say Alexander Freed is probably the top writer in the new Star Wars canon. Please give him another Star Wars book. And for the rating, I give this book a 5 out of 5. Writing was top notch, dialogue perfect, um, scenery. He paints, you know, pictures with his words. I can't think of anything wrong with the book. Well, that does it for this video. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you'll be notified when I post more videos. Comment below, tell me if you've read the book. Have you seen the movie? What book are you reading? Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at TheGeeksAttic and TheGeeksAttic.com. Have a good one.